Leonardo's drawings give us the greatest record of his work, really. There are only some 20 um, paintings that are still extant, and probably there weren't many more in his lifetime. His prodigious activity is really recorded in his drawings. They are a wonderful way for us to have an insight into the way his mind worked, um, into the movement of his hand, um, the things that he saw. Uh, it's very intimate, actually, to look at all of these drawings and to um, be able to have that kind of access to the artist. This is the star of the exhibition, the head of a woman, a study for the Virgin of the Rocks. And it is supposed to be one of the most beautiful drawings in the world. Sir Kenneth Clark said that, Bernard Berenson said that, these are two great critics at the beginning of the 20th century. And we're thrilled to have it here in Boston, and it will be given pride of place in the exhibition. There's a wonderful drawing in the show of an older man and a young man, and both are sort of extremes of, of themselves, of, of old and of young. And that gives you a greater sense of each of them, the, the complementary aspects. Well, I think there's a real sensitivity in his portraits of the elderly men in the exhibition. And those are the ones that one might think of as being on the complementary or the opposite side of youth and, and ideal beauty. That he really grasps the humanity and dignity of old age. And that's a wonderful thing. Most people think of Leonardo as the quintessential Renaissance man. For all of us, really, he epitomizes the Renaissance because he was so deeply curious. And for him, art was science. There wasn't this distinction that we're making now. The observation of the world around him, this empirical observation, that was science. This is what you're going to see in the exhibition, especially in the room focused on science, which will include the Codex on Flight. Well, the Codex is important for a number of reasons. There are a couple of reasons that are particularly salient to this exhibition, one of which is that there is a hidden portrait on one of the pages that will be displayed. And many people think now that this is a self-portrait of Leonardo. The other wonderful reason that we will include the Codex is because of its relevance for Leonardo as a record of his interest in flight, in birds, in science and nature. This will be a very rare opportunity for New Englanders to be able to come to the MFA and see such a large group of works by Leonardo, to be able to compare them with those of his rival Michelangelo and also by works of artists in his circle, his students and pupils. And that kind of experience really allows you to be a connoisseur, to, to try to make those judgments yourself. Is this drawing by Leonardo and why? And why are these works so deeply appealing? And why have this one in particular been thought of as the most beautiful in the world? Mm -hmm.